Canva has quietly been rolling out features that rival some of the biggest design apps in the world. And now it's worth more than Figma. Yes, even after the acquisition. Yet many people don't seem to realize just how powerful it is and the full range of what you can do with it. In this video, I'm going to review Canva's new visual work suite of tools and show you how I use it as a founder and product designer to its maximum capabilities. Canva is an impressive company and one that I've been following and happily paying for for years. Not only is the product and its growth and adoption extremely impressive, but the founder and her vision are even more noteworthy. Founded by an Australian-born woman of color, Melanie Perkins, whose idea was rejected by hundreds of Silicon Valley VCs, is now worth 26 billion dollars with over 90 million users and it's profitable and is considered to be the most valuable startup in the world right now. The Canva platform features one of the lowest barriers to entry of any design software I've tried and makes beautiful design accessible to anyone. I guess our goal was to take the entire design ecosystem integrate it into one page and then make it accessible to the whole world. Looking at it from the perspective of someone that does everything from graphic design to product design and team presentations and video production, it's the only complete end-to-end -end design solution on the market right now that somehow manages to cater to everyone without feeling like it caters to no one, which is often the case when products like this try to be everything to everyone. You can tell that Canva is laser focused on user experience. They hire talented graphic, visual, and UX UI designers to build and contribute to their product. From their job page, you can see their focus on user experience and product designers. Canva's new work suite of tools is so impressive, and it's all located right within your single Canva account. So let's walk through some of my favorite features. Whiteboarding. Canva's whiteboarding tool is pretty exceptional. Much like FigJam, you're able to create freeform spaces for brainstorming, workshopping, sticky notes, and other UX discovery tasks. Here in Canva, I can click on whiteboard and start with one of the many pre-made templates. They actually have quite a lot more in their library compared to FigJam. Here, I might use a project kickoff template to share with my team. If I want to add to this canvas, I can just click on another template here. Maybe I'll add a sitemap and it's gonna add it right here. And you can just customize this and start building out the information architecture of your website. We can select any of these templates from our board and then export them as UX deliverables. So we can download a copy in any file format, like a JPEG, a PDF, an SVG, or we can share the link to this. And so if you go over to here and click on anyone with link, you can set the permissions, if it's someone in your organization or just anyone and what they can do with that link. And then you can copy the link and share that out as well. Prototyping. Next, I'll hop over into the prototyping tab, and this will bring up a screen design that's inside of a mobile mockup. And there are some templates over here that I can use. So let's say that I wanted to show a login flow. I could just add that here to this mobile design, and then I can keep adding a few screens to create a flow. And there is a template style here, or I can go over to styles, and try out a few different looks. So this is just really easy to get a general look going really quickly and a flow up so that you can share it with others. So let's say we have something like this. I can now add in animations, just some general screen animations here. So this has a simple fade and I can do a pan, I can do a pop, lots of different ways that I can approximate uh, interactivity and real animations here. And then if I come over to play, it will play my prototype with the animations in place. So I can share this as an interactive clickable prototype as well. Next, I can take that and create a presentation or a walkthrough for my team for say a design crit or to share with my developers for an implementation walkthrough. Now this feature is pretty crazy. Click on share and then click the present button. Here you're gonna see a drop down with a couple of different views. Click on the presenter view, then click present. This will open up two windows, a presenter window and an audience window, much like PowerPoint. 
you can time the presentation of your prototype. You can add notes to it. You can click through it and interact with it. You can also hide the magic cursor here. You can use a remote control or you can auto play this demo. But over here in the top right, it says Canva Live. This is an amazing user research tool because you can start a live session, then copy a link to this demo and have anyone join the session and leave feedback on it. And you'll be broadcasting this live to your users. This is an amazing hidden gem of a feature for user testing. It's really a useful tool. UI design. You can create final high fidelity designs here too. You can create a dashboard like the one I've designed here and even link the charts to real data so that your graph visualizations are tied to this and you can update them in a table. While this still lacks some of the more advanced Figma-like UI design features like auto layout and variants, I would not be surprised if pro features like this are in the works. Website Builder. Canva has an amazing website builder. I can jump over here and start working on a marketing website or a landing page for a new product or feature, and then I can publish it live to the web. I'll be doing another video on how I create an entire portfolio from start to finish in Canva and then publish it, so stay tuned for that. Smart mockups. Smart mockups are great if you want to insert your designs into a device or a photorealistic object. So say I need to show my mobile app screen inside of an iPhone device mockup for my landing page, I can do that here. Just select a mockup here. I'm going to choose this iMac monitor. And then when that comes up, you're going to be prompted to select an image or upload your own. And then it's gonna place that image into this device and you can resize it position it however you want, and then save that for use as one of your design assets. Brand and design asset library. Now that we are set on some foundational design things, I can solidify these into a design library so that anyone, designer or not, can come in here and use and apply my styles to any other form of content. Here in my design library, I have our brand kit with our logos, with our brand colors, and with our custom fonts. I can even set the permissions here on the design library as well so that changes made require an administrator's approval. Typography. The out-of-the-box typography includes access to all of Google's fonts. You can also add in amazing text effects. And if that's not enough, you can add in your own custom fonts. You can just upload that right here like I did with Futura PT. Canva Docs. Canva also teased Canva Docs at their Canva Create Global event, which they'll be releasing soon. It's said to be taking on workplace mainstays like Google and Microsoft, as well as real-time collaboration and project management features from apps like Notion. Stay tuned as I'll be covering that as soon as it's released. Canva is really an incredible intuitive tool that I use for so many things, and it's totally free to get started and only $12.99 a month for the pro plan to get access to all of the features and assets. I highly recommend you check it out and let me know what you think. You can use the link in the description. I'll be watching Canva with great anticipation and excitement. It's poised to be the largest IPO ever held by a female founder CEO. The founders have also established the Canva Foundation and are giving away billions to help address poverty, making it one of the largest charitable organizations in the world.